Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to another review. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Walmart exclusive Marvel Legend Thanos. And here's Thanos out of the packaging, looking really, really dope in my opinion. Uh, but first off, I want to give a huge shout out to Mr. Todd Ortiz, aka Rectangular. Uh, he was the first one to find these at Walmart. He actually was the one to announce that this figure was even being released. So huge shout out to you for sharing with the community that this figure was being released on its date. Uh, I checked on the weekend and there was nothing uh, Todd had said. It was going to be released on the Friday, if not that Friday, on Monday the 27th. So I went this morning with no luck. And I actually ran into a buddy from Instagram, AVP Toys, and we got to talk. We went over to Starbucks and just talked for a little while, had a coffee. Then we were walking back to our car, and he wanted to go inside and look again. So we went in, and there was actually three, three of them on the pegs. So, well, we went there in the morning, there was nothing. But while we were gone, somebody must have asked the employees to get them out the back. So, there was only three, somebody must have bought the first five, and we picked up the last three. I only got one, my buddy picked up one for his friend and himself. So, super thankful to find these guys in the wild, and let's go ahead and get into the review. Alright, so I'm super stoked to have this figure. Um, I said it before, I sold this figure a couple of months back. Um, I needed some cash, but I was able to sell this figure for $60, the build a figure for $60. And that was a decent price on him. But I'm super stoked to be able to get this figure again at Walmart for $20. So I'm a big fan of the blue deco on him. I really like the new paint. Uh, it, the blue just looks killer on him. They did that silver lining on his arms that came out really, really great. I like the silver in his uh, in his thighs and his knees right there. It looks freaking killer. One of my gripes is I wish they put more of that glossy gold on the belt and the... Um, I don't know what you would call that overall <laughs> not overall but you know what i mean i wish they put more gold on that the belt the uh the hands and the top of the boots because they did it to the they did it to the feet and they did it to the hand but they didn't do it to the rest and it would have matched and looked really really nice with the rest of this figure so that's my minor gripe with it other than that there's just a small you know couple couple paint bleeds and other than that nothing major to to ruin this figure in my opinion Let's go ahead and take a look at his accessories, then we'll take a look at his articulation and details. Alright, taking a closer look at the alternate head, I'm a big fan of this one. Uh, that paint came out really, really good on this one. I did have a chance to look at three of them, and I picked the best one. So, the top of the head looks really good, um, except right there. It kind of has that marbling effect. But I'm not too bothered by it. I won't be taking a picture of the top of his head, mainly the front. And the front looks really good, in my opinion. This head is actually worse than the um, the smiling one, as far as that marbling effect goes. But I think it's for each character, it's different. For I mean, each Marvel Legend is different. Next up, he came with an alternate hand. That's really cool. I like the blue in it. I really wish it was a fist, but I guess it's cool that we got an alternate hand, just period. And it looks really good in the packaging. Alright, taking a closer look at Thanos, I am a big fan of this face. Um, I love the fact that we get... Uh, alternate heads because uh, you could do a lot more with your shots this one you could have him looking like he's about to get a gem and he's super happy or he just punched the shit out of Iron Man and it made him laugh <laughs> so I really like this head but let's go ahead and take a look at the other head yeah now that's some nice head pause <laughs> uh, so I really like this head it looks really good um, it's more of a menacing look like if this if this guy's walking towards me I'm gonna want to turn the other way <laughs> But uh, I really do like this head. It does have more of a marbling effect than the other one, but I'm fine with that. So moving on down, um, everything is exactly the same as the Build-A-Figure. Um, I have seen in pictures that you can take it apart just like the Build-A-Figure. It's pretty easily. 
removed the arms and the legs. But moving down, I really do like that shoulder pad, the shoulder deco and everything like that. I like his fists and his uh, deco going down. The blue came out really good and it looks really good on camera. So I'm super excited to take a shot of this guy. Going down, I really like that silver. The silver and blue complement each other really, really well along with the gold. And then going down to the boots, we have the glossy gold on the feet. And then when you move up to the calves, it's just that plain gold. So I really do wish that they did uh, more with the gloss. But I am really happy with the way this figure looks. Alright, so let's go ahead and go over, over his articulation, which is pretty decent. He can look oops, he can look right and left a fair a good amount, up that much, and down that much, which is pretty good. Um, the abdomen does only have one click, so he can only go back that much and forward that much, which really sucks. So there's not a whole lot you're going to be able to do. I, w I hope somebody comes up with a mod and does a tutorial for it. I do not know how to do it. If you know how to do a mod for this figure, please leave a link in my comments. <laughs> but so he only has one click, and that kind of sucks. But again, this is a really cool figure, and I'm not too unhappy with that. So there's your 360. He has an upper swivel, a double jointed elbow, but it's kind of hindered by this glove. And then his hand can 360, and it is on a hinge, so it can go a little forward. But this figure needs to be heated up a little since it's so fresh. Same thing with this side, 360 and the hinge on there. Yeah, that one did. Okay. You can kick up about that much. Can't go back that much. We have an upper swivel. Double jointed knee. That can't bend that much. We have another swivel there. Ankle rockers and pivots. Yeah, this figure's fresh out the case, so the joints are definitely stiff. And for a quick slice comparison, here he is next to the new Infinity War Taskmaster and the Juggernaut Wave Wolverine on his right. Um, looks pretty good, he's a lot taller than them. He's taller than Taskmaster, and that's a bookie cap mold, so that looks really good. And he's a lot taller than Wolverine, so that looks really good. I do not have the Build-A-Figure Thanos anymore, because like I said, I sold that figure a while ago, and I'm super happy to have this one again. Let's go ahead and get some other figures out. And here he is next to Britain, and next to Miles Morales Spider-Man. Uh, I really like that he's a lot bigger than Miles, that looks really good. And even though Britain is a buff figure, Thanos still looks like he'll fuck him up. He looks like one punch KO. And real quick, here he is next to the new Marvel Legend Black Panther. And if you can't see it, I've been painting a little bit of purple in that Black Panther. Um, he has the Civil War head on there, so that's why he looks a little different. And on his right, I have the Songbird Infinity War Build-A-Figure. So that's how he looks next to female figures. Uh, I kind of like the way he looks next to that Black Panther. Looks pretty cool. And for some import action, here he is next to the SH Figure Arts Ryu. And I think that works because Marvel, Marvel vs. Capcom, you know, you got Ryu, um, Capcom, and Thanos Marvel. I believe they fight each other. I haven't played the, the most recent one, the Ultron one, but I think Thanos is in it, so they do work next to each other. That I like the scale too. And on his right, I have the Mezco Mr. Spock that I customed, and it looks pretty cool next to each other. I could kind of take a picture of Spock like a alien spy for Thanos. That'd be pretty cool. <laughs> Actually, I might do that shot. That's a good idea. But uh, let's go ahead and uh, move on. And just for the hell of it, here he is next to some three three-quarter scale figures. Um, these are Troll Hunters. It's a really good show on Netflix. If you are watching it, you should really check it out, especially if you have kids. I watch it all the time with my son. Um, on his left, we have Arg, who is a big old troll. And on his right, we have Jim, the Troll Hunter. Really cool show. I like the way they look next to each other. He'd fuck them up. So this little character right here is from Troll Hunters 2, and I think... This figure could work for a lot of other stuff. He look, you know, he could be like his little minion, the little guy he has running around doing errands for him. I don't know. What do you guys think? I think that would be pretty cool. You know, it's kind of cool in scale. Like, yes, master, yes, I'll do whatever your bidding is. You know what I mean? It's a cool figure. His name is a uh, Binky Blinky. He has uh, six eyes. It's pretty cool. I like the show Troll Hunters. Alright guys, that's going to be it for my review of the Marvel Legends Walmart exclusive Thanos. 
Uh, it's a pretty sick figure. I do want to get a second one for my wall. He looks really, really cool in packaging. Uh, this is definitely a figure, if you're a big Marvel Legend collector, I believe you should have in your collection. Um, I, I, I'm, I'm happy with this figure. I'm, a lot, I'm very happy they came out with this figure instead of that Build-A-Figure from the Infinity Wave. It looks like garbage. I'm not going to buy it. Um, I'm pretty much done with that wave. I got Taskmaster and, and Songbird. I'm, I'm happy. Uh, I do not want that build a figure, but I do like this comic book version of Thanos. Um, I'm a big fan of it, and I hope you guys are too. So I'm going to go ahead and set up a shot, um, see what I can do with this Thanos, and I'll catch you guys next time. Please leave a like, leave a comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Alright, so I'm finishing up the shot right here, and it was a pain in the ass. I had my buddy Jaime, the external Jaime. I'm sorry, I forgot. I forgot the end of your freaking Instagram handle right now. Uh, but I'll put it in. I'll put it in this video. Um, so I was having trouble lighting this shot, and I had to use my phone. Actually, um, he told me a little technique to this. So I got the TV in the background, and man, this was giving me the worst freaking time. Um, so I used my fire stick, and I don't know why or what happened, but it zoomed in, and I can't click on anything. I just have to go left or right, so I was only able to pick a couple of pictures, and it was freaking, ooh, driving me nuts. Anyways, I was able to achieve the shot, and I'm happy with it, so I'm going to be done with this for now. Alright guys, peace out. That's crispy.